23rd of March. 23rd, that's right. And it's kind of windy and rainy. Kind of typical spring weather. Well, at least there's no snow. Mm -hmm. Right? So hopefully it'll just be rain and it'll be a good day for a drive. Yeah, and that would be nice. And But I'm thinking that snow's over. I think winter needs to be over. Well, see, I have some snow plants, snow pants laying around, and I'm like, oh, should I clean those up? Maybe I'll just wait a little. You know, I, know. I actually wait. haven't put the boots in the cupboard yet, I don't think. I have to put the boots in the cupboard. Well, you know, as soon as you do that, then... Then it's, yeah, you kind of jinx me. So we'll just wait. But Nobody put your snow pants and your winter boots away yet. Oh, somebody says it's freezing rain in Simcoe. Well, it, it's supposed to get warmer through the day, so if there is any, I think it's just this early part. In the because morning? The, because the temperature is going up today, so. Well. There's Peggy Mascow. And she was in yesterday with a friend. There's so. Judy Monroe. Agnes Hill, good morning. Kathy McKinnon. And Susan. Lots of ladies. And maybe some gentlemen, too. Jan Valentine, yep. Marilyn Pettit. So it was really nice yesterday seeing people without their masks. And it was almost like you had to rethink names now. Uh, yeah, I had to really rethink <laughs> a few names. <coughs> Get and to then, know people all over again. And then Karen Marshall then and um, Debbie and Ellie were down. And Debbie hasn't been out of the house in two years. And we were her first stop. That's amazing. Yeah, her husband had had some surgery and was pretty compromised because she was... Uh, and close to home. I can't even imagine. Yeah. But that was really nice. But they seemed to have had fun and that was good. Yeah. There's Joanne Lewis. And Heather Groff and Denise Cullen. Pat Lynn. So what do we have here, Miss Tammy? Let's do some door prizes. So I have some iron-on appliques. They're um, little teacups and teapots, two packs. We'll do those. A block book. Give us ideas on the back. And then we thought because we want green grass already, <laughs> let's do some green fat quarters. That's a so good idea. Put some springy green color in your world. And you know these teacups will be great for practicing your applique. Yes, it'll be uh, something fun for your table for the spring. Yeah, you could do placemats or whatever you like. So just make a comment, and then we'll draw names at the end. And if there's something that you like that you see today, just a reminder, Cynthia at CherishPieces.com and Tammy, T-A-M-I. See, I just did it. This would be our Tammy. At CherishPieces.com. And we'd love to hear from you, and you can even call us. Correct. Good morning, Allison and Rhonda. So, what sh where shall we start? We have a lot of stuff here today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking, should we? Let's start with why don't you start with your project? Here? Okay. <clears throat> so, um, unfortunately, in our world, there's that war, the war going on in the Ukraine. And um, I know a lot of people are watching the news, and it's really heartbreaking. Oh, it is. And as quilters, we always want to do something to help because we have warm, generous, giving hearts. And, you know, while right now might not be the time to make quilts to send, um, there's a few organizations that have done, or people, I should say, have done blocks that you can uh, donate to your favorite charity. And then, you know, you can print these off. They're free patterns, and you can make it to hang on your front door you know, in your house just as a support. So if you, we're going to post these links in um, the Facebook page. But if you go to Pat Sloan, she has one. And she likes to do this star with the Ukraine colors. And she has a whole explanation on the charity that she likes. Um, there's a video to do with it. Um, all the instructions, you know, how to make your star. And we'll print off some of that and have them available if you can't do that at home. And then there's another lady who's done a sunflower block, which I decided to do um, because that's Ukraine's national flower. And so it's just some way that maybe you can feel like you're supporting and helping those that are really suffering right now. Yeah. Because it is, it's gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very hard to watch. 
So I just made this, it's a um, 12 by 12 block. I added a little border so it'd be a little bit bigger to fit on my little um, hanger. My, I don't know if you can see, but it says welcome, the, the wire. Um, you know, sometimes when we're making small projects, we, we're not sure how to baste it or what to do. Well, I've been discovering that I really like this fusible bat. You can cut it to your little project and just iron it on and it's great for pillows, placemats. So you don't have to get out your spray can or all your pins. So some of those things just make some of these projects a little quicker and more fun. Yeah, very nice. It looks nice. Yeah, it. so that'll be on my front door. So should we talk about, um, should we talk about our classes now? Yeah, let's do that now. Because we have, we come up with a class listing and I'm going to work on getting that email out today. We'll start with the one behind us, right? Yeah. Because that's... So we have this big quilt here. This is a be this is a beginner class. And this is for this will go on for eight weeks. And at the end of eight weeks, you will have completed this. One of the benefits of this is that you don't have to worry about picking out your colors because you're going to pick one jelly roll and a background fabric and then border. I mean, the border can go on you after. You can do that after, yeah. Yeah, we can audition for a border after. So this class starts uh, May, what is the date? The 26th here? to July 14th. Yeah. So and that class is $200 and um, plus your supplies. Um, Gladys will be teaching that. She's taught the beginners class for a long time. And it starts talking about colors and threads and all your basics. So that, you know, when you finish this quilt, you will be able to read a pattern and do mm -hmm. most 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 patterns you you know most regular patterns you'll be able to do it because we've got four patches and nine patches and half square triangles and stars and flying geese so there's a lot of good blocks in this quilt that will teach you a lot so this is for our beginners those who would really like to learn to make to to quilt and then when you're done you know this is a fair size quilt you can see how it's uh, stretching across your whole board it's like 88 by 88 so you could put it on your queen bed or yeah, a double Absolutely. Definitely. So this next one, uh, let's see. This is Rolling Stones. We showed you the quilt last week before it was quilted, I believe. And this one is done with a layer cake. Um, this one is going to be Tuesday, April 19th from 9.30 to 3.30. And the class is $99, and it includes one of five store selections. We've got five layer cakes here that you can choose from. We'll do a quick little... So there's Sunny Days. There's uh, Farmer's Daughter. Let's just cut it up, reproduction line. And then there's um, Adele and Autumn. So you can see it's kind of got the autumn colors. The Emporium Collection, that's the one behind us, our sample. And then we have Henderson Street. I don't think that's these other two. No, that's for a different class. If you were to choose a different layer cake oh, wait, from the they store. They could choose one of those. Though. They could choose that. They could choose that too? Okay. <coughs> sure. Uh, there's also Tea with B and Gingham Gardens. If you decide to choose a different layer cake that we haven't mentioned, it's an extra $20. So your background would then be 15% um, off. You would be eligible for that. So that way... Um, you'll get this nice quilt done, mm -hmm. and Gladys is also teaching that class. Okay. And this is your double square four patch layer cake class, and this is $105, and that's because it includes um, a Missouri Star book. And the two one samples of these. we did were these, but you could use one of the other layer cakes if you chose that we showed just a True. few minutes ago. But it includes the layer cake, this price. Yes. So you just have to buy your background. And anything else you need to sew. And this class is Saturday, April 2nd from 8.30 to 2.30. And you can see we've done it in two colorways here. This one is Gingham Gardens, right? Yep. This is the Gingham Gardens one. And this one is Tea with B. So they're both nice and fresh for spring. They are. 
and they're a good lap or a good throw size. Well, and I guess we can leave this. We can leave that. Okay. We can leave that. We're going to talk about the other ones. Um, what do we got? This one. So we have a rug class, the Jelly Roll rug class. We've been asked to do another one again. Um, this one is sixty dollars plus your supplies, and your supplies are fifteen percent off. And that one is Tuesday, April 5th from 9.30 to 3.30. Okay. Um, so this one? Show me how to paper piece. There are those of you asking about paper piecing. This is a basic paper piecing class. Um, Tuesday, April 12th from 10 to 2.30. It's $50 plus supplies. So that would include the book. Um, there's papers in it. Well, that doesn't include the book. You need to have the book. Oh, it does. Okay, sorry. You're right. Sorry. Um, but, you know, you could bring stuff from your stash. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. it's just, it's uh, going to be little, by the time you're done, little three-inch blocks. Mm -hmm. It makes, you could turn them into a little wall hanging. If you want, or keep going and make something else. Right? You can be creative. So that's the paper piecing. And then what's our other uh, one? We have other. a project bag, and then we have the cross-stitch one. Okay, so the project bags are using the sew she can sew line. And so we've taken the blocks from that big panel that we've shown before. And we've um, added yardage and, and made the project bags with the vinyl. And this is Thursday, April 21st from 10 to 2.30. Darlene LaShance will be teaching this. And she's made up a bunch. And it's just very simple quilting, you know, just some straight lines. She's done some great examples of how to quilt these. And this one just simple. has some simple cross hatching. So you should come out and have at least one of these done. Oh, probably more than one. But that'll be a lot of fun. And, it, you know, it'll be nice to learn how to do the zipper and work with the vinyl. And then we have a cross stitch class. And this one, it, you will need to purchase the kit. This one is going to be with Britt Dowson. Saturday, April 23rd from 9.30 to 2.30. So these are your choices. Um, try to get the glare off. There we go. And so you can let us know when you sign up for the class which one you'd like. Um, there are, we still have time to get more, but right now mm -hmm. we just have a few. Yeah, but we, we did bring in more of these sewing machines because we sold out of those very quickly. And then this one was in the stores. So you can just email us or you can call us if you're interested in a class and we can give you more information and when we have the um, homework information what you need to get it done ahead of time or supplies that you need we'll let you know absolutely um so karen th yes that is um is a panel the one for the um, bags it is a panel and you're going to be seeing more of it yet this morning right so that's that right yes so a few new things that uh, came in the door this week. Um, these are the Lori Holt zippers um, that, that she had for her um, bags. They've got the double zips on them. Maybe I'll just put this down like this. So there are eight of them. They're 16 inches long, and you can see they have the double pulls. And this set is 1850. Kimberbell has come out with a new, um, this one is called... Spring, spring showers. Spring showers. It's hard to it? read upside down. I know. I have to read I up there. I should have looked up there. And so it has great instructions, you'll see, and the CD for machine embroidery for this quilt. So this uh, this program is $95. Embellishment kits and things like that are also available for it. Okay. So this is a sweet little pattern called Dresden Blue. And it's using, um, I, I really thought this was a great idea because they're using... Um, jelly roll strips. So they're cutting them at eight inches and sewing them together. And um, so you sort of have two toned bands. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. it's a different Another idea. great way to use up stash. We also have Blossom in Spring. This is so cute. I think that pattern is $13. Mm -hmm. So there's three little patterns in there for spring. And of course a little bunny. A bunny? A bunny. Why? No. <laughs> well, because it's going to be Easter and spring, and it looks. And because you love bunnies. And our um, seam roller is back in stock. 
$21. And so is our binding for that pink stuff. All right. You want to talk about those things? Sure. Because I keep uh, getting in there, right? So this is a little wool bundle by Riley Blake. It has 13 fat quarters in it for 118 See, like, all the fun, warm colors. Mm -hmm. We typically carry a lot of bright, but we also felt we needed to, for some of these projects, have something that was maybe some more muted color. Yeah, it's almost fallish, but, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with those. And there's this cute little kit. Look at this. This is a, you have to tell me about this one. Autumn Garden. So this is a runner, and it is how big? It's on the back here. Um, oh, 19. 19 and a half by 44 and a half, and it is $57. So it's in this sweet little box, and you know, you get your pattern in there, your layer cake, or not layer cake, charm pack, and then all your fabrics that you need. And I think Arlene's already scooped one up, so we might see a sample soon. <laughs> but yeah, that's a sweet little box. And we have a new puzzle that came in, and this is quite cute. Made with love, and look at that. We have you know, a dog. Oh, that's a cat. Yeah. In the sewing room. Yeah, that is a fun puzzle. So, so that's 27. And the whole kit, the whole country caboodle has come out with a spring mug rug. For all you uh, gnome lovers, look at this. So I started playing with this quickly last night, and it will go together very quickly. So here is some. Um, you know, they have the, the back um, stabilizer for when you are doing your your stitching down and a piece of foam for the inside and your back. And then they have this cute little binding that goes on. So there's your cute little binding that could go on there. And this little kit is $28.95, but it includes everything. That you Everything's need to, there. Yeah, yeah. And these are all pre-cut, pre-fused applique. So that'd be fun to just sit down in the afternoon and stitch it together. Yep. Hang it up. Kind of a cute little gift or something, you know, that's just springy. Okay. And long awaited, Frosty Goes to Town has arrived. So we will be calling you to let you know um, that your kit is available. We have some that we're waiting for this red polka dot and it's going to be two weeks. It's, it's in transit. Um, so there's going to be some that were short the, um, the red, polka red polka dot. So if you're not in a hurry for it and are okay waiting, then, you know, if you want to wait your two weeks. And I think I might have three extra full kits available. And we're just uh, completing those that, um, there's seven that are doing it by the month. And we'll have that packaged here a little later today and available for pickup. So Frosty Goes to Town has arrived. But we'll definitely give you a call. Yes. So you don't drive for no reason. <clears throat> and this came in. Do we want to maybe go to full screen for this one? I think. Can I hold it up? <clears throat> yeah. This is Riley Blake again. This is Lori Holt. And it's tea towels. It's a tea towel panel. And she's also given you some days of the week if you wanted to incorporate them. And it's on that home deck weight, so it's perfect for a tea towel. This panel is 60 inches wide and is $22. It came in yesterday and our Arlene took these home last night. Oh, and so cute. Look at this. So she's, on this one, she even put, like on these, she put the days oh, of the week on them. She's cute. Smiling. Isn't she an effort? <laughs> mm -hmm. She just does everything top knot. So she serves the edges and just, I mean, because you could use your I mean, it's just a simple hem. You could do like a rolled hem too if you don't have a serger, like yep. me. Yep, just a rolled hem. And so these go together nicely. So she's sewing, sewing Sunday on here and Monday and Saturday. See how sweet they are? So there's there's four of them. You can only use them on that day. So this, uh, <laughs> so this goes with that, ties in with that cookbook line and that, um, <clears throat> that good chicken... Yeah, the chicken salad. Chicken salad, thank you. Yeah. You know, some chicken salad would actually so be good. <laughs> so let's see. Now, what do we have next? Um, we have some fabric. We haven't really shown fabric today. We do have fabric to show today. Let's do that then. Okay. So 
but we have some new wide backs for those of you that are um, finishing up quilts. Oh, I think I got it upside down. It has some words on it. So that's a cute one. It says lilacs in a uh, what? jar, something jar, <laughs> fruit jar. And how much does that one say? Um, 22 a yard. Okay. That's that nice minty color. And then there's this nice pale yellow with the sunflowers on it. Gorgeous. It's kind of a tan. Oh, I guess it's it kind, of, kind pale. of yellow. Okay. Well, it says cream, but I think it's more than cream. It's 22 a yard as well. Look at that with the nice sunflowers and daisies on it. Daisies on it. Daisies. We know some sweat home with early. <laughs> And then this is, I think this is more of a, oh no, it's black. I was going to say navy. That's also 22. Kind of a nice vintage feel for it for some of your quilts. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we have some white, a solid minky, snow color. Very solid. Yes, very solid. Why aren't you rubbing that against your face? I'm not going to get my whole <laughs> face down there. I don't want to put, you know... Your makeup on it? No, I might just put a little on today. And then we have the dimple one. Yeah, look at the that. little texture. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of itchy. Did we say that one is twenty-two? Yeah, these are both sixty inches wide, and they're 22. both twenty-two. Okay, so let's put yeah. these on your table. All right. I don't want them on the floor here. So then we have this nice little springy line that's come in, and oh, well, let's see it's what it was all called. about. Um, on the wind, but anyway, can I look at this? So oh, these are fun. some um, things. These are some coordinates for the pipe fabric. Look at that, like sort of the dandelion hoofs. You know, like you blow them in the wind. Oh, yeah, that's those. Okay. Here's a green one with the dandelions. And we have some blue kite. They're almost like paper airplanes. Oh, those, yeah, I think they are. On the wind, yeah, so that would make sense. Paper airplanes, and then we have some of your little yellow dandelions blowing in the wind, too. And these so, are 15 a yard, yeah, and they're all nicely coordinated, they work well. This one can work with it, too. It's um, it's an off white and it's uh, little stars. Yeah, we're often looking for things like that, even for baby quilts, yeah. And this is a pretty line. This is by Hoffman. I think this is our most expensive fabric that we've got here. It's by Hoffman. So this is 18 a yard. Look at how pretty these springy colors are. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to toss a couple and take these elastic. See how those work together. And one more. Look at how lovely. They're all very pretty. Spring. Yeah, we, I mean, we're all aching for this to try some, but these will work nicely with a lot of different uh, other fabrics. And then we have some really pretty baby flannels. And look at this one, you know, with the giraffes and the little deer and the baby elephant and the bunnies. That one's very cute. Yeah, it is. Very sweet. This one's 15. And we also have it in the mint colorway. So it's kind of maybe more geared to a little girl. And then for a boy, we've got alligators and we have giraffes and all the fun things on there. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we have it in a dark blue. So there's a nice navy. It's got the little tiger kittens and the little stork with the baby bundle stars yeah so just fun fun prints they're great on the back of baby quilts they're great burp bibs um, the um, self-binding baby blanket that Tammy has shown you know a couple of times fine. yeah and these are great flannels to do something a project like that in mm -hmm. Oops, see. got a little too carried away we were going to show you two different versions of the panel, if you remember this, so she can sew the same panel that we're doing the project bags from. So this was Arlene's interpretation. 
and she liked to use the yellow sashing, no surprise. But it's really good. It's nice to see a different colorway. We've got, got the little blue cornerstones here and the symbols. This sews up very nice and would look very nice in your sewing room. And this is the one that could be used on the calendar, but we really liked being Do able something to use. else, yeah. yeah. Doing something else with them. So we showed you on the project bag and then here, and then we have this. This is using a blue um, sashing, and then we thought we'd make it just a tad longer and add the black little feather weights. Yeah, to make it more rectangular. So we have those two. And I think we now have some show and tell, don't we? Let's start with contest winners. Oh, our contest winners. Oh, yeah, that was fun. So we have on the on my oh, wait, on the left here, we have Jackie Van Mepplish Pink. And then we have Jerry Mayhew and Pam Smith. Pam Brown. Pam Brown. Oh, my gosh, Pam. I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me, Tammy. Yep. So congratulations to our winners. So they came in and picked up their gift bag. Here's <laughs> Lucy Main down. Look at how fun this one is. And she's just been busting her uh, stash with yep. some scrap quilts. Having lots of fun. The so the the so she can sew panels are quite large and they're twenty two, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, because there's 12, <clears throat> 12 of those twelve inch blocks in the uh, in the um, panel panel. So this is done by Christine Santini, who was being very shy. I understand about <laughs> really appearing in her picture. And isn't this gorgeous? And she's taking that to Italy, which she'll be. I don't know if she's there now or will be shortly. So. So this is a gift for future somebody students. in Italy, yeah. So she was very excited about that. Yeah, it's just a beautiful job. There's Sandra Rohr with the was that a three year old kit? It's a baby quilt, I yeah. Think. So she had a lot of fun with that. Arlene Mayhew, and this is um, what's the name of that? Resplendent. Resplendent, and. Um, she did hers in blue. We have a sample in the shop done in the the uh, gold and browns. That turned out really nice. It did. It's a beautiful blue quilt. And, and this is um, Lorraine, Lorraine Balderman. She was in on the weekend. That's right. Yeah, for Saturday. her cottage quilt. Yeah. Yep. And this is Evelyn Julian. This is one that she was making for a, that she made for a grandson, and I think he picked the panel out. Did a nice job. That's mm -hmm. a different a variation that William, looks really good. Yeah, I think William's. Oh, quite William, <laughs> quite excited about that. He comes in with her often. Makes us laugh. And here's Louise with some of her crumb piecing. Look how fun this one is with the star and the cat. She always has fun. And here's Arlene Ann. And this is her three yard kit. And uh, I just love this one. I love the colors. And she did this with the coffee fabrics. And Karen Marshallton was in yesterday. And she did this. Um, it's from uh, Edith Sitar. Yeah. What's the name of that? Rainbow's book? Nest. Rainbow's Nest. And she did this for Abigail, who is her brand new granddaughter. I think her seventh grandchild. I think yeah. we now have seven under seven. Under five, I thought she <laughs> under said. Under five, maybe. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so she had a lot of fun, and that's beautiful. It Looks is so just good. beautiful. And Arlene decorated our shop outside, so we're all ready for spring, and I just love what she did. So when you come, it's easy to find our shop. It's all the nice, bright colors out front. Come in. We're awesome. Yeah. And <laughs> Arlene, thank you for a beautiful job. We really like it. And this, we have um, this Henderson, is Henderson Street. Street. Do you want to talk about that? So we've got that on our table beside our cutting table. We're going to take $2 off a yard and what was the $5 off the layer cakes and jelly rolls. There you go. And so it's a great line. Still has lots of uh, potential. We just thought quarter bundles there. We'll take 10 off of the five quarter bundle. Yep. So I can make something great out of that. I think that's all our show and tell. So thank you for joining us oh. this week, and <laughs> I just forgot. it is almost do -do 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 time. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's do the book first. We have Karen Err. Congratulations, Congratulations Karen. Karen. And then the little uh, applique cups and teacups. Alana Haskett. 
Oh, congratulations, Alana. And then the green back quarters. Uh, Rosemary Holden. Rosemary Holden, congratulations. So let us know if you're going to pick them up or if you need them mailed. Hopefully we'll see you. So weather's getting nice. We look forward to seeing you in the shop. And uh, as you can tell, we love taking pictures of your show and tell. Mm -hmm. And everybody loves to be able to see these pictures too. So have a great week. Have a great week. And we'll see you next week. Okay.